It's Kyrie. Yes, if you don't know me, get to know me. <laughs> what's up, YouTube? What's up, Kyber crew? And what's up, Irvin, Pandora's cuss supporters, audience, the band themselves, people. If you don't know who this is, and you don't know what this is, let me briefly explain it to you. <laughs> um, a young artist out there from Hungary messaged me on YouTube saying, I would love, he would love for me to react to his band's latest release and do you know what i said to him i said let me do you one better yeah why don't i have an interview with you and then why don't i also react to your song as well he was totally up for it people he said yes let's get it on and i've had the interview already recorded and organized people so yes over the past couple of days we have done the interview and it has been recorded and it's now in the woodworks of being edited so it's gonna take some time because um there was a bit of an audio issue on my side uh, where there's a bit of a delay when i speak and how i move so um i'm finding the time when i can actually sit down and edit it all um it's just taken a while i was looking through different type of softwares um that i could use um to find a way that i can obviously make everything as one on my side but um it doesn't seem like i can find a good so software to solve the situation so the reaction sorry the interview to rewind the interview will be out no i'm gonna suggest about two weeks ish that's what i'm planning or maybe a week ish it might be the end of feb or beginning of march that's what i'm looking at all right however i am reacting to his band pandora's curse all right called the tracks called impossible so here we are people the reaction is first and the interview will be with you shortly i'm gonna say the end of feb or maybe the beginning of march is when the interview where the interview will be released patreon members will get it first if there is any delays i will let everyone know however patreon will get it first so people if you want to go on a patreon links in the description join it you will get more content now because i got a bit more free time in the next two to three months you will get more content i'm going to be putting additional content and more stuff on the patreon so i cannot wait for that so my patreon members thank you for being patient with me more content is 100 coming and going your way people so um, i'm very excited about that i'm very excited about that um so people yeah do subscribe or not subscribe do join that patreon starts from three dollars a month there's two types of tiers every little penny helps every little currency helps it lets me put stuff back into the channel also people you can request for a song and i can skip the queue well you can skip the queue actually um and i can react to your song like that um so there's the option there people however do subscribe hit that notification button uh, <laughs> to know what the next upload the goal the aim is fifteen thousand subscribers people 15k in may the ball is in your court Let's get to 15k in May. It's in your control. I can't control it. If you want to see more of my face and more of this content, you know what you need to do. But let's see what this person is like with their band. Also, I didn't pronounce the person's name. The artist is called Irvin. That's the interview that's coming out shortly, people. Um, but this is his band called Pandora's Curse, track called Impossible. Irvin is the lead singer. I can't wait for you guys to see the interview where I dive into who he is as an artist. It's brilliant. Um, it's really exciting. And also the very first one. So hopefully more coming down the line. Let's get it. Another no three, another no two, another no one. Let's press play. Oh, did that, did that go? Okay. I thought. <laughs> Alright, here you go.
vocal range is on point. His vo this is what I like about him, man. I he does a lot of different stuff, people, which we'll dive into the interview when you get to see the chance when that, sorry, when that comes out. But his vocal range is incredible. What he does in his style, man, is so incredible, bro. Like he, But he's going in hard right now and he's being consistent and he's hitting a high pitch right now. So that start, oh, was incredible. The way, they, the way they're playing as well is incredible. They're an up-and-coming band, people. They're from Hungary, but they're an up-and-coming band. So they're growing bit by bit. And it's, oh, it's insane. See what I mean by the vocal range is insane. Look how deep he got, people. Yeah, they're they're good, man. They're up and coming. There's so much more to see. Um, there's more. There's more than meets the eye. There you go. That's the saying. Uh, but yeah, people, they're from Hungary, man. So I'm gonna drop a lot of links in the description to go check them out. The band, bro, the band's doing very well. Really like them. Really like them. <laughs>
Jesse. Yeah, his vocal range is crazy. His vocal range is crazy, people. Bear in mind, I haven't even said it, which we're going to find out in the interview, uh, but this kid's 19. So the band must be like, the band, like the members must be around similar ages, 19, 18, 20. Think about that, people. They're 18, 19, 20, that sort of ballpark, and look what they're doing. Insane. Yeah, first things first, insane. Great solo, great piece, very talented. Now, the only little two cons I've got, or constructive feedback I've got, it's just, um, they've, they're, well, it doesn't really matter. One of them doesn't really matter because they're young and they've got time to grow. It's just obviously, I felt like the drummer was, um, could have added a bit more to it. There were certain parts where I felt like another, another extra, like one or two beats could have been added and he could have double timed a few times on the song. However, they're young. So they're like 19, 20. So they got a lot of time to actually progress and get better with it. So for their first, like, and I don't believe this is their first song, but for their, I guess, official music video, I don't know. Um, they got a lot of time to progress and get better. So that's not really like a con. I take that back. That's not a con. It's just something you can improve on. Those little parts I, caught, I thought, you know what, the drummer could have added a little bit extra there. The only other second con, uh, well, the first one's not really a con. It's just some, it's just my thoughts. But the, the con, um, I just felt like it was a bit too, um, what is it? Um, stagnant's not the word, but I don't know how to describe it. It felt like it was all mashed into one. That's a great way to describe it. I felt like it was all a bit too mashed into one. Like where the chorus came in, where the bridge came in, and how they obviously structured the song. It felt like it was a bit too mashed, mashed up. Like a lot of the deaf core I've seen so far... Um, or metal chord, the stuff I've seen so far, they have like a nice little mixture of where it gets a bit mashed up. They kind of calm it down, then they get mashed up. Or the drummer really takes control of the whole thing, regardless if it's mashed up and structures the song, because he just adds the way he wants to add it, and then the whole piece sounds completely different. So it doesn't sound like it's all just mashed into one. That's the only other thing, that's the only thing I thought of. It was just all mashed into one. Like when it got to about here. <laughs> From this point onwards, so from this point onwards, all of it seemed a bit too like mashed up into one. Like, I didn't really know where the chorus was or where the verse was, personally. I don't think there's even anything like that in core. I think it's just a sound, personally. Uh, but yeah, that's the only thing I've got to say. The drummer part, let me see if I can give a good example. So when the drum was going in, he could have gone like dun 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 Like I don't know if it was possible, but that extra little one or two like parts on your foot pedal where you hit the bass, if it was possible, going like dun 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 Like I don't know, some deathcore people do it. They like triple time it. If there was if there was a possibility to do that, that'd be fantastic. However, you're young, and it's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not something I'm saying like they needed to do this in this song. I'm just saying like you could tell where. If there was an extra one or two bass parts, my bad. If there was an extra two, one or two kick parts on the bass of the drum, it just would have filled out that section a little bit more. Uh, but they got loads of potential to grow. They got loads of time to grow. Like, and plus, it could be due to the type of equipment. Who knows? List goes on. But it's not really a con. It's just some feedback. Um, other than that, I enjoyed it. Vocal range is incredible. And I like the solo. I like the guitar solo, man. That guy's sick, to be fair. He's really good. Really good. Really good. Yeah, really good. I like that solo. I like that solo a lot. All right, that's my reaction over, people. Irvin, I hope you liked it. Pandora's Curse, I hope you liked it. You're very talented. Keep doing what you're doing. Irvin, your voice is incredible. Keep smashing it. People, I can't wait for you to come to look forward to the interview that's coming out. As I said, 
end of Feb or beginning of March. Now, if there's any delays with the editing, because um, I might take a while for me to edit it all, I will let everyone know. Um, Patreon members will get it first, people. So if you want to go check it out on Patreon um, when the time is ready, definitely do jump on the Patreon, people, because it will come out there first officially. Uh, but I'm over and out. That's my reaction, people. Yeah, I hope you liked it, peeps. Uh, I'm over. Subscribe.